Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukiyomi? The sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? Nah, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Yeah, you don't mess with legends and fairy tales, dude. And so this pitiful soul uh, royally screws up. Oh, who, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Yeah, a little bit more than you bargained for. Yeah, so I guess he really doesn't need that prayer to be unleashed onto the world again. So I don't know why they even put that in there. Maybe he was just messing with him. And so the beautiful Japanese countryside is ravaged. And now you'll find out that most of the game is trying to restore order. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. So, it's not looking too good for Japan at the moment. This is the wood sprite, Sakia. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu. The time is now. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. And so, somehow, a lowly wood sprite has the power to reincarnate uh, the god of all gods. It makes perfect sense. And this is Okami Amaratsu which is the sun god in, ja in you know, Japanese lore. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not cha yeah, changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings me happiness. This is a lot of reading. Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mist, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, which is Japan, if you didn't know. Uh, but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Yeah, so she feels something moving around in her dress.
And it turns out to be some annoying bug that is unfortunately going to be our very, very annoying counterpart is soon. I'm going to stop reading for a little while because it's making me a horse. Yeah, so he's a gigantic pervert. He thinks he's some sort of wandering artist slash uh, samurai. And that's his depiction of Sakia. Eh, the face could be better. But he's trying to be traditional. Oh, how perspective. Or perceptive, even. Dinko Maru. Yeah, why don't you go slay a Rochu with that? I'm sure it'll work out fine. What's that growling sound? Why is it so dark anyways? And now she's going to die. Yeah, well, that's what you get for, you know, sleeping at such a crucial time. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. So, basically, we have to go and get the cut uh, spell, not the, uh, the paintbrush technique. And because you can't go anywhere else and you can't do anything, you go inside of this tree. Which reminds me a lot of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And so, as you can see, the artwork, while different, is very uh, attractive. Yes, 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 it's a save point. Now, I'm not going to be speed running this, but I will try and be fast. But I can't make any promises. Just let me jump up there. I know how to do that. Yes, yes. You always have to climb to get the good stuff. That's basically a health item. And of course, yen is money. And the bridge.